Okay, we're going to go ahead and create the biological uh, systems I talked to you about before, biological modeling. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to create grass. So I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of new sprites. First, I've got this sprite. This is always the default sprite. I'm going to rename my project here, and I'm going to call it uh, Biological System V4. I've made a lot of versions of this. Um, and in this sprite here, I'm going to keep all my variables. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to rename the sprite. Um, I'm going to click the I button and rename it to variables. And this is just where I'm going to store different variables that I want to keep. I obviously don't want this cat in my video at all or my program at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is when this is clicked, I'm going to hide the cat. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bunch of variables for grass. So what I want grass to do is I want a certain number of blades of grass to grow. Um, and then I want them to be able to die as well. So I guess one question I need to think about is how much grass I want. So the variable I'm going to make is um, grass number. And I'm going to always start with a capital first letter and a capital letter for the next word. So this is going to be the total amount of grass that I'm willing to have, and it's for all sprites. So everyone in the program should be able to know how much grass that I'm willing to create. Another variable, oh, and I'm going to start by setting grass number to 50. So I'm going to say I want to have 50 um, blades of grass or 50 little clumps of grass, and then um, that's the max number. So uh, are there any other variables I need right now? Um, hmm. Nope, I think that's the only variable I need right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start creating my grass. So I'm going to draw a new sprite. And I'm going to very quickly draw some grass. So I'm going to go to vector mode because I think it's a little bit nicer or easier to work with. I'm going to grab this green color here. I'm going to take this line and I'm going to just draw a line like that. And now I'm going to draw another line. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. Another line here, another line here, another line here, another line here. Hi, Snowy. Another line here. So he likes to work with me when I'm programming. And this is going to be my clump of grass. And I'll have this grass grow all over the screen in a second. But here's my clump of grass right there. It's a little bit bigger than I want it to be. So I'm going to click on the shrink tool. And I'm going to click on this a few times. Um, you have to be clicking on the green to make it shrink. So it's hard to make it shrink that way, actually. So I think I'll shrink it a different way. Um, First, I'll center it. I want to make sure that it's centered. Um, so I'm going to drag this to the center of my grass. Click. And now I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Looks. And if you click something here, it actually happens, just like it was in a program, but it only happens once. So if I clicked here, for example, it would hide. If I click here, it would show. But right now, what I want it to do is I want to set the size to about like 40% of this size. I want it to be quite small. So there, small clump of grass. Looks pretty great. So that's what my grass is going to be. And there's the main grass guy, uh, which I'll just put right here. But I don't want this. I want clones of this. So there's the main guy, and then there's the clones. So first, I've got to hide the main guy. So this green flag is going to operate the main guy. And I'm going to say, go ahead and hide him. And then uh, forever, if. Um, if the number of grass, the amount of grass that is created is less than the total number of grass that I'm willing to have, then create more grass. That means I need another variable. So grass number is 50, um, and then I need to create a new variable called grass count. This is the count of the current amount of grass, and grass count is going to start at zero. So I'm going to create 50 clumps of grass. So here I am, and if grass count, if grass count is less than, um, uh, if grass count is less than, Snowy, shh, I just like to bark at people parking near our house. If grass count is less than the max number of grass, which is grass number, 
You know, that's not a good variable name. I gotta rename that variable. Always name variables something that makes a lot of sense for you. So it's not just grass number, because that would be pretty confusing. Grass count, grass number, it's kind of the same. So let's say max grass number. That's an easier variable for me to understand. So I'm gonna go back to variables here, set max grass number to 50. Okay, good. So if grass count is less than max grass number, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a clone of myself. All right. So this is going to create a bunch of grass. Um, now, when I start as grass, when I start as grass, I better do something. So the first thing I better do is I should move to a random location. So random is X goes from negative 239 to, or 240. It goes, X goes from 240 to 240, negative 240 to positive 240. Y goes uh, 180 to negative 180. So when I start as a clone, I am going to go random and I'm going to make a block here, sort of a function block that I'm going to use again and again. Go random. Notice the capital first letter, capital first letter of the next word. Okay, go random. Go random is going to do this. It's pretty simple, but it's going to set X to and set Y to. And X is a range from negative 240 to 240. And Y is a range from negative 180 to 180. So the reason to create this as a function, even though it's pretty simple, is that I can now use this again and again with other sprites, and I will. So um, when I start as a clone, I want to go random. So go to a random location and then show up. Um, so I'm going to go to looks and say show. So let's go ahead and run our program right now. See what we've got. And we have 50 blades of grass randomly distributed. Oops, no, it's continuing. It's not stopping. So if grass count is less than grass number, then create a clone of myself. Um, oh, I know why. So when I create a clone of myself, I have to increase the number of grass count. Otherwise, it'll just keep going, right? So I need to say change grass count by one. Now only 50 of them are going to show up. Let's try it again. Okay, 50 blades of grass have changed and, or have, have been created. And one of the nice things is if I ever want to have more grass, all I need to do is change this number here. I'll say I want to have 100 blades of grass. And this is what 100 looks like. If I want to have 10 blades of grass, I can do this. Because I'll be changing um, my uh, model later to see how much grass I want to have. OK, what else needs to happen with grass? Um, well, a couple things. Uh, I guess if I'm touching the giga, so I'm going to create this kind of herbivore guy. And the herbivore guy is going to be a giga. He's under fantasy, I think. Yeah, here he is, giga. So if touching him, great, he's way bigger than I want. I'm going to touch my shrinkinator and get that guy way down in size. Okay, maybe even smaller. I like small things. All right, there we go. Small dog, small person. Yeah, I like small things. All right, here we go. So if um, you're touching the giga guy, so if the grass, let's go back to our grass, um, when I start as a clone, I should always be looking for something. So um, I'm going to say control if touching giga sensing is if touching giga, then I want to um, die. So what is die? I probably should make some sort of nice function here for die. And I'm going to make a block called die. And I think this is what it'll look like. Oops, did I forget to define it? Yes, um, edit. So, we're, oh, here it is, die, define die. So I think die should kind of look like this. Um, let's repeat something 10 times and we're going to change the ghost effect by 10. So we're gonna kind of fade away. So we're gonna go to looks, change ghost effect by 10. So he's going to fade out, right? 
And then um, I am going to change the grass count. Remember, we keep track of how much grass we have. So change grass count by negative one, and then delete the clone. So then I'm going to go to control and delete this clone. OK. So now I've got if touching giga, then die. All right. So let's just make sure this works. So here we go. And why is he not dying? Um, well, it will work. Uh, maybe because this isn't supposed to be draggable right now. Snowy! Um, let's go back to our grass. Um, so if, oh, I know why it's not working. Because this if statement, I need to be checking this thing forever, not just once. If I don't put a forever around this, I'm going to check this if statement once and only once. So I'm going to go control here and I'm going to say, please check this forever. Now check it out. Aha! Why are you still not dying? Die! Please die. Um, I don't know why it's not dying, but it will die when the giga actually comes time to touch it. Uh, if touching giga, then die. Die is fade out, change grass count by one. Um, and uh, it, it will die, I promise. But I did need to have this forever statement in here. Okay, it looks like we have grass doing what we need it to do. So let's review. Um, if the grass count is less than the max amount of grass, we're going to launch more grass. And we're going to create a clone of myself. When I start as a clone, I'm going to go to a random location. I'm going to show up. And then forever, if I'm touching Giga, this guy, I'm going to die. Um, and that looks pretty good so far. Let's just really make sure this is working. So, um, well, we'll make sure it's working in the next video. We'll make sure that it's actually dying in the next video. But we've got grass really kind of done. All right. And next we'll work on our Giga and then we'll work on kind of a Giga button, which is the ability to add Gigas. All right. So that's it for grass. Yay!